In this video, I'm going to look at copying some data over to Excel and making a CSV file. And one of the uh, tricks I was interested in is that uh, this uh, one field here in the table, uh, the one cell is also a link. So I would like to copy the links and I wanted to not copy the links one by one. And so this, I found uh, this video, which I will link to. Um, it was by How To Videos, and it was about adding the link clump extension to the Chrome browser. And that is what allowed me to copy a bunch of links all at once. So I want to sort of show that, play that game. So here was the data I wanted. I was, for some reason, wanting to gather all the data of the Flyers roster. And so I went to the NHL and found their roster and they've got it separated. I'm going to have to probably have to copy three times to not get all this intermediate stuff. Okay, so one thing I'm going to do is control minus a few times and get uh, maybe one more time and get all these uh, forwards on the screen all at once. And now, uh, sometimes sometimes this is an easier thing than it was for this NHL site. Sometimes I can uh, copy the table and just use one of the like paste special things, options, and get uh, the URLs. And that was just not the case here. I think one of the reasons is that this doesn't, doesn't seem to be one table. It seems to be like two parallel tables. And uh, so the copying and pasting was a bit of a mess. And one thing I can show you is just, just by the way I highlight, then I can highlight all this without highlighting the player names. And that's already sort of a hint that uh, that something's going on here in terms of the, the table. But I'm going to copy all this other data over first. Copy. And I'm going to put it, give myself some room. And so there's that data. I did. Well, let me undo that and let me paste and, and match the destination. I don't really want any formatting. I'm going to save it as a CSV. It's just going to be text in the end. So why have any crazy formatting. So I have their player numbers and their positions and uh, shooting hand, I think that is uh, height, weight, when they were born, their birthplace. Okay, so that was just a simple copy paste. Now I'll do the player column and get the names. Okay struggling to keep this all. And again, so this was just all the first column, which suggests that it's um, maybe multiple tables or something. But anyway, not just the normal copy paste. And I screwed it up again. I didn't want all the pictures. I just want to match the destination, which just gave me the names. And I seem to have missed James and the last one. Is that indeed? Yes, that is indeed true. So I missed poor James. Let me get James. Okay. And not paying attention. Okay, pastes. Okay. So there we go. We have all of our player information that we want, but uh I want, especially the, I, again, I'm going to now get those links and those links are also going to have, I'll get like the link and the title of the link, which will be the person's name. Um, so I'll have a duplication of the name and then I'll just eliminate one of the columns in Excel. Okay, and again, I'm not gonna duplicate this video. I'll just link to it. It was, it helped me add this extension, but I will point out one thing about this extension, um, 
So here are my extensions. I'm not a big extension guy, as you can see, but this one was useful for this purpose. And uh, there were more than one thing that this extension can do. So I went over here to the, you know, the ellipsis and went to the options and it had actions. Um, and I think maybe the default action is to open up a bunch of tabs, which was not an action I was interested in. But if I want, so you can add actions. I can say I want all these things opened in multiple new windows. I didn't want that. Open them in new tabs. I, I don't want that. Bookmark them. I didn't want that. I wanted to copy them to the clipboard. So that's what I have. Um, let me add one and then take it out. So opened as new tabs. I can say save. Okay, so now I have uh, two actions, copy to the clipboard and open a new tabs. Now I decide, no, I don't want the new tabs deleted. So all I want is this one. And I can edit this and change this color, but um, that wasn't very interesting to me. And uh, I'm going to get my action by holding down the Z key and, and dragging. So uh, I can change that key. I, I can do little do dot editing. I didn't bother. But I did get rid of the tabs. That wasn't of interest to me. Okay. So again, that was the useful thing. You know, under normal circumstances, if you uh, copy a link, if if I copy, if I highlight a couple of links and do save link as, I didn't want to save it. I wanted to, sorry, copy link address. So I highlighted three of them. And I'm going to over here, paste. It gives me one. So that that's the game I wanted to play. I want when I highlight a bunch of them to get a bunch of them. And OK, and that is what the link clump does for me. I get my this action by holding the Z. I can see I'm not going to highlight the player because that's not a link. And then I just have to remember when I'm pasting it to, to skip a row and I'll type in a URL or whatever I want at the head of that column myself. So I'm going to hold down the Z key and highlight these there. And so I highlighted them and now I'm going to come over here, come down a row. I'm going to get like the URL and the title. So that's why I had two columns here and do a paste. And there were the titles of the pages of the links, and but that was also the name. So I have that now twice. So I'm going to get rid of that. I have a call the URL. And I have the player and the number. Uh, I don't always like symbols that can sometimes wreak havoc, so I'll change that while I'm here. And uh, okay, fortunately, these heights um, behaved. Sometimes I've seen heights get turned into dates, and that can be a nightmare in Excel. The dates do seem to be dates, so that's nice. Um, and then what do I want to do at this stage? I want to, you know. I don't have all the players. I have to come back and get the defense players and the goalies or it's not much of a hockey team, but that's just more of the same. So let me just for demonstration purposes now go forward with uh, saving this as a CSV. And uh, so I'm going to save it as a comma separated variables file. One thing I'd like to point out is that um, each column is going to be separated by a comma. And then I have this data here, the birthplace data has commas. and uh, that will, I think, will end up in quotes. We will see to be sure. So file, save as. So I'm going to browse. Uh, where do I want to put it? I'll just put it in downloads. Uh, I'm going to save it as a CSV. There are all these different CSVs. 
Um, and I will say uh, flyers. Okay, so now it's a flyer CSV. I want to close it. Excel makes it look nice, good for Excel, but I want to um, open it and say uh, Notepad++ to get a real sense of what it looks like. And so here's the URL. What I'm really interested in the URL is just this number, but I'll deal with that. I'm going to read this file and then I will do some regular expression and just grab the number. Because what I really just want out of that was the ID. I don't, I'll reconstruct the URL if I want it, but I don't have this, this, I'm calling it an ID. I don't have this number otherwise. There's the first name. Uh, first name and last name is one unit. Uh, the, the player number, and here is um, some weird things going on with quotes around the height and quotes around the city. So um, my when I'm using this as a CSV, I'm going to have to be careful that the, the height and the cities get uh, treated properly. Um, that's what I wanted to show you, just this uh, trick that I learned from, uh, who did I learn it from? Uh, how-to videos about link club and sort of highlighting multiple things. It's not always this difficult. Sometimes in Excel, I can just say, uh, choose one of the paste options and, and it will convert uh, the URLs automatically, but that was not happening in this case. And so in situations like this, it was a useful trick that I wanted to share. Thanks for your attention.